Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this simple reloading script where when you get to zero, it reloads, and if you press R, it reloads, and it doesn't let you shoot while you're reloading. Before I get into it, I just want to mention that I make game dev and programming videos every few days, so make sure to subscribe and stick around because you'll learn a lot here. So let's get into it. Okay, I have this simple scene here where I just have this gun that shoots at the ground, and right now there's no reloading system, it just shoots forever. So we'll create one. So in the gun script here, I'll double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, so this is my gun script that I have here, and I'll start off by creating two variables. The first one is a public integer called max ammo. And we'll just set this equal to something like 20. This is how much ammo you'll have when you reload. And I'll also make a public int called current ammo. In the start method, I'll set current ammo equal to max ammo. So at the start, we have our max amount of ammo. In the update method, I'll check if you press R. So if input dot get key down, and then in the parentheses type key code dot space, or not key code dot space, key code dot um, R, I guess that's the reload button. If you press that, then, so if we press R, we want to start a timer. So we'll create an I enumerator called um, reload. And we don't need any parameter in it. We'll wait for seconds. So yield return new wait for seconds. And this is actually the only thing we need in here right now. So we'll wait for seconds for one second, and then we'll set current ammo equal to max ammo again. So when we press R in, in here, we'll start coroutine. The coroutine is called reload open and close parentheses and semicolon. So we'll need a bit more stuff. We'll also create a public pool called currently reloading and we'll set this equal to false. So this thing, it will just um, stop you from shooting while reloading. So if you press reload, we'll set currently reloading equal to true. And once you're done reloading, we'll set that equal back to false. And uh, in your shoot script here, wherever you have it, like, um, I have it here, like if I press left click and I can shoot, add an and and uh, check if you're not currently reloading. So add a exclamation mark here. So if you're not currently reloading, you can shoot, but if you are reloading, then you can't. And we can also do another check. Um, that's just if current ammo is less than one then we can start a coroutine to reload. Oh. So if you get to zero bullets, it'll automatically reload. Now let's head back to Unity and see if this works. It's reloading, and then it shoots again. And then it's reloading. I'm just holding down left click right now. So you can see. You can also press R to reload, and it takes a second. So yeah. There's a lot more ways to spice this up, like you can add UI that shows how many bullets you have, you can add recoil and a bunch of other shooting stuff. So that's pretty much all I have to show here. You can probably search up other tutorials and stuff on how to get UI to display the amount of ammo. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll make a video on it. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you.